um, I, this is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, Those of us on the left have been saying for months now that the word woke basically has no meaning at this point. Most right wingers essentially call anything that they don't like woke. But there is one person who, of all conservatives, should be able to define that word. It's homeschooling advocate and right wing author Bethany Mandel, who literally wrote a book about how woke radicals are indoctrinating your children. But as you're going to see, she also can't define woke much like her right-wing peers. And the boys over at the Vanguard stumbled upon an amazing moment from Rising where she was asked by Brianna Joy Gray to define wokeness, but as they explain, her attempt to define a term she wrote a book about breaks her brain, and that is literally the most accurate description for any video ever. Enjoy. Americans consider themselves very liberal, and probably fewer of them consider themselves to be woke. And so, you know, when, when well, we talk about traditional... What does that mean to you? Could, could, would you mind defining woke? Because it's come up a couple times, and I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So, I mean, woke is sort of the idea that um, I. This is going to be one of those moments that goes viral. I mean, woke is something that's very hard to define, and we've spent an entire chapter defining it. It is sort of the understanding that we need to re -to totally re imagine and re re redo society in order to create hierarchies of oppression. Um, sorry, I, it's, it's hard to explain in a 15 second soundbite. Well, yeah, look, it, time. that moment at the end there where Brianna tells her, you could take your time. That actually had me genuinely cry laughing the first time I saw this clip. It was just, it was so masterful. I love this video for so many reasons. First of all, as I alluded to at the beginning of this clip, it confirms that their use of the word woke is explained perfectly by this meme. Everything I don't like is woke, a book for basic dickheads. This engine is woke. And it's meant to be humorous, but it is literally true. You can't tell me that that meme is inaccurate. That's conservatism in a nutshell as it relates to wokeness. Now, second of all, I love this video because it demonstrates that right-wing intellectuals don't know shit. Actual academics define every single term that they use, even if the definition they're using isn't universally agreed upon, so long as they're using terms in a logical and consistent manner, that is acceptable, that's expected. But these pseudo-intellectuals didn't even complete step one. Define your terms, always define your terms, but she apparently didn't do that. Now, before the word woke was co-opted and subsequently bastardized by the right, it did have an actual meaning. As Olaimia Loren explains, woke is a term black people created to refer to those of us who were conscious and aware of historical and systemic realities. White people such as yourself now use it as a dog whistle and we see you. Now, of course, she was referring to far right propagandist Christopher Rufo, who tries to deny the racist connotations of the word when used by the right. An example is how the right melted down over the Little Mermaid being black and called it woke, or how they called Jurassic World woke after they shared posters featuring a black actress. I mean, the movie is shitty, but being woke isn't the reason why the film sucked. But back to that clip. So it obviously went massively, massively viral, as the author had predicted, and she responded to everyone reacting to that clip by saying, well, you know, I had a brain fart, but also it was kind of Brianna Joy Gray's fault too. She actually is claiming this kind of. So she writes a bit of backstory. Just before we went on air, Brianna Joy Gray was on a hot mic. I heard her demeaning parenting in general in colorful and nasty terms, stating parents only have kids in order to perpetuate their own narcissism. Robbie responded, quote, there are some good ones and some bad ones. As a mom of six, including a newborn, this threw me off just a bit. Not an excuse, just a reality. I'm human. <laughs> See, the problem is, in order for you to speak as an authority on this issue, defining the terms that you frequently use should come naturally. Now, of course, we're all human. We all have brain farts, right? But you should still be able to competently define words that you use frequently in concise, cogent ways. But the fact that you looked like a deer in headlights tells us all that that was the first time you were ever asked to even think about the definition of a word that you use frequently. But let's be clear, the reason why she appeared hollow and vapid in that clip is because the argument of her entire book is completely idiotic. And the moment she deviates away from her rehearsed talking points, her entire argument 
crumbles. For example, this is her book synopsis according to her. The crux of the argument of the book is that there is sort of a woke reimagining of our society and it's happening in a lot of different ways in a lot of different areas of our of our lives and there's been a lot of attention justifiably on corporations um in uh in media but there hasn't been a lot of focus if any on sort of the the youngest generation and so carol and i wanted to talk a lot about um you know how this sort of interferes with childhood as as it's happening in America right now. Uh, there, there's a lot of chatter about what's happening on college campuses, but not enough about children. There's been a woke reimagining of society. So in other words, children today are living through an ongoing period of social change, whereas that was never the case before. Bethany, you do know that society is in a perpetual state of change because culture is dynamic. You know this, right? Racist parents screeched about the end of segregation in the same way that you're probably screeching about kids having trans teachers. This is not a new phenomenon. The core reactionary impulse by people like you has not changed. What you're saying is recycled bullshit peddled by the right to distract people from actual economic issues that they refuse to address. There's a reason why prolific propagandists like Matt Walsh, Christopher Rufo, and Abigail Schreier all praise your book. It's because your book isn't valuable because it's substantive. It's valuable to the right for propaganda purposes. It's a distraction created by economic elites and you're their useful idiot. So this whole debacle isn't only embarrassing because you had a brain fart. That isn't embarrassing in and of itself. It's embarrassing because it illustrates how vapid your underlying argument is. If your entire worldview comes crashing down in 30 seconds when you're asked to simply define a word that you use, maybe stay in your lane and leave conversations about complex social issues and education to people who, mm, I don't know, actually know what the fuck they're talking about. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralism, woke moralism, woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.